he had just eat, just be and eat, and he went on to the store to buy one lighter and the comakin. And when the comakin, it looked like the person with the by the so. Which and is right over right the fence. Right over the fence, over the fence, and when I shot him, I get shot in the head, and in the chest, and one in the back. Dimitri Usher was not supposed to be in Belize City on Sunday night. In fact, he was supposed to begin working with a construction company and was just awaiting his police record to leave and to take on the new job. On Sunday night, just before 8, he returned from the shop and entered his yard on Wood Street, adjacent to the Constitution Park on Cemetery Road, when a gunman shot him dead. We had a gunshot and we hear ma ma and then she jumped over and we run out, of the, yeah. run out and then when she be along there it looked like the person in the middle by the gate and fired two more shots again. Surveillance footage shows that the assailant stood just a few feet away from the park, arms stretched over her defense, aimed at Usher and then the gun discharged several times. Usher's stepfather told News 5 that his stepson called out for help. His mom ran to his aid but could not resuscitate her son. The gunman was not quite finished after he shot Usher. Another relative was just entering the yard behind Usher, and he too came under fire, but managed to escape. He ran into a, a uncle, and the uncle stood out with a pint, and he fired shot back at the uncle again, and then he ran back. So. It appears that the shooter was one of two persons on a motorcycle that waited on Wood Street near the shop where Usher had gone to purchase. The gunman walked from there into the park and waited near the fence where he knew Usher would soon pass on his way into his house. Assistant Commissioner of Police Hilberto Romero shared what investigators have gathered so far. For around 8 p.m., police responded to a shooting incident at Wood Street in Belize City. Upon the arrival, they found a male person with gunshot injuries. He was identified as Dimitri Usher, 23 years. He was immediately taken to the KHMH for treatment, uh, where he was pronounced dead on arrival. Information received that Dimitri was sitting on the steps at the house by his apartment. When a male person came and fired several shots towards his direction, the male person then got onto a motorcycle and fled from the area. We have one suspect in custody and we are doing follow-up regarding this murder. By all accounts, Usher was a positive young man. His first child is expected to be born in two months and he would have turned 24 in November. Today, the Ebony Lake Football Club expressed regret at the senseless killing of the athlete on their Facebook page. He always out at the field, I saw the play football. That one I think we like the two. You know, you're always the hotel. This was the second time that someone made an attempt on Usher's life. The first time was two years ago. His family believes that it was because of his previous address on Banak Street. He used to hang out with the, with the guys from Chude, but... The Chude Yes, name. yeah, and he stopped. Um, mean, yeah, Chu, yeah, and he stopped. Where is that? Yeah, Banak Street. Yeah. Okay. And he stopped hanging out from there. Okay. He, for four or five years, it's tapping off around the boat. Police are reviewing surveillance recordings that captured the murder from several angles. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.